Why is this crooked, Mr. Skeleton? I'm blurry. All right, Mr. Skeleton, let's go, sir. Hey everyone, it is another year Halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. It is January, it is snowy, it is freaking cold, but we're out. We're going out on the hunt for some Halloween decor, mainly for my yearly Halloween tree. Uh, so every single year, if you're new here, first of all, welcome to the Spooky Family. We're excited to have you. But every single year, I recycle my Christmas tree and just so I can procrastinate even longer <laughs> when it comes to taking my Christmas tree down and I can repurpose my Christmas tree and use it as a Halloween tree where we kind of do half spooky, half Valentine's Day kind of situation on the tree. And so every year we go look for some things for this tree and we've accumulated some cutesy hearts, pinks and reds, all the different kind of ornaments and stuff like that. But we're always on the hunt. You know, we're always trying to revamp it every year. So it doesn't look exactly the same every year. So that's the goal today is we're just going to go look just in general at some Valentine's decorations, see what's out there. And I'm not planning on decorating anything besides my tree. But maybe we'll come across a cute towel or I've seen some cute little spooky Valentine's like Halloween t-shirts at Walmart. I've seen them on the Facebook group. If you're not part of our Halloween Forever Facebook group, I'll link it in the description. Um, but I've seen some Halloween things out there, especially at Walmart. And that's our first stop today. Wally World. That's where we're going. Um, but my mom was telling me that at home, she was at at home and she saw some cute Valentine stuff. So we're going to go. We're here at Walmart. Then we're going to go to at home. We're going to go over to Dollar Tree, which is probably picked over. by. you would not think that early January, early to mid January would be, it's still early January to me, but you wouldn't think that all the Valentine stuff would be picked over. But every single year, I feel like I miss the boat. And I'm like, when are people going? Is it like on Christmas? Are you going Valentine shopping? I'm just confused. Um, anyways, we're going to go into Walmart and see what they got. What kind of, I, I feel like Walmart this year, they've had the most stuff I've seen on the Facebook group. I feel like Walmart has had the most Halloween stuff. So we're gonna go check it out. Anyways, before we go in, I wanted to spray myself with some perfume. I always like to freshen up before I go into a store, like the first store of the day, you know what I mean? Just to kind of spruce up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna be using this. This is from Scentbird, which by the way, this video is sponsored by Scentbird. I've been around here for a while. You know I'm a huge fan of Scentbird and I've talked about them for years now because I love this whole concept. I love everything about it. And if you haven't heard of Scentbird before, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service where you can try a different designer fragrance every single month. Uh, you can also upgrade if you want to try more than one fragrance, uh, but you get a generous 30 day supply and they have a ton of different fragrances to choose from. They have anything from Prada, Versace, Gucci. They also have boutique fragrances like my favorite Confessions of a Rebel, Get a Room. And I feel like I'm always on the hunt for a new signature scent or like just one for different seasons. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, this is my spring scent. This is my summer scent. And I'm always on the hunt for a different scent. And that's why I love Scentbird because you can try different fragrances. You don't have to commit to a full size bottle. And those full size bottles are freaking expensive. So I feel guilty even if I get halfway through one and then I'm like, I'm not super crazy about this anymore or I wanna move on and I feel guilty about it because I feel like I need to finish the bottle. This is why Scentbird is so amazing because you can try different fragrances every single month. This month from Scentbird, I tried some new fragrances. I'm really excited about. The first fragrance I tried, Christian Siriano's Silhouette, which I'm going to put on here in a second, uh, but the notes are Jasmine Petals, Amberwood, Madagascar Vanilla, and Cashmere Musk. This one smells so sensual, perfect for Valentine's. And the next perfume I tried is from Goutal, and it's called Nuit et Confidence. Notes on this one, Italian Bergamot, Black Pepper, Tonka Bean, Madagascar Vanilla, and Musk. Smells so good. The musk and the bergamot, ugh, one of my favorite combos. And last but not least, I got the Tommy Bahama St. Bart Seascape. And this one has sparkling lemon, orange flower, and Caribbean vetiver. The one I'm trying today is called, uh, it's Christian Siriano Silhouette. And this one is very vanilla-y, which I love this time of year. I don't know. There's something about the Valentine's Day season. I like something warm. I like vanilla. I like something that's going to be more sensual. So anyways, if you're looking for a new signature scent, or maybe you're just wanting to try something new, then definitely check out Scentbird. You can click the link down in my description box and use code JADE55OFF 
to get 55% off your first month with Scentbird. That's only about $8 for your first month. Anyways, we're here at Walmart. We've been sitting in the parking lot. We're going in. Here we go. Oh, Mr. Skeleton, it's so freaking cold, sir. It is so freaking cold out there and it's supposed to get colder. It's 34 degrees. I think it's the wind that feels really cold. It's supposed to get to like negative, I don't even know, 14, I don't know. It's like an Arctic blast, blasting, Baja blasting us. <laughs> and let me tell you about Walmart. I mean, I saw the stuff over on the Facebook group, like that they had Halloween stuff, but I wasn't prepared to see it in person. Walmart came through for a spooky people in the world. Let me just, let me just put that out there. They did not disappoint. I didn't see any of the Halloween shirts, like the t-shirts. Like there was a really cool Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein, a whole shirt that I didn't see. I didn't see any of the Valentine shirts. I did see some pajamas. I didn't take videos of them because they were just kind of, you know, just like little hearts and stuff. Like they, it wasn't anything, I didn't think anything too exciting. And I might as well mention now, since we're looking for home decor, there was a very, very, very small section of Valentine's decor. They had like a wreath that had pom-poms on it that was in the shape of a heart. They had another wreath that had kind of like a tinsel look to it. They had a, like a tabletop decor piece that said love. And then I think some like canisters, like just a couple of small things. Honestly, nothing to write home about in my opinion. But, but their little like Valentine's gift section had the cutest Halloween stuff. I, and you know what? I feel like Walmart is listening. I feel like they've heard our call for Halloween stuff and they've come through because they had like a whole little like sock set. It was like something like pears, like something about a pear or whatever. And they had a Nightmare Before Christmas sock set. And then also the Bride of Chucky and Chucky or just, you know, the Bride of Chucky movie kind of situation. But, uh, Bride of Chucky and Chucky socks. And they also had glassware with Chucky and Bride of Chucky. So they had some just regular glasses and then they had some little shot glasses and they were so cute. And then they also had this Nightmare Before Christmas little gift set, like a whole little Valentine's gift set that was Nightmare Before Christmas. And that's not all. That's not the only Halloween stuff they had. And I feel like you had to really look because it was in like a sea of hearts and lovey-dovey stuff, roses, whatever. And then you'd see one little thing, like I'd see a little skull or a ghost or something. Like they had this little journal that had all these skulls all over it with heart eyes and had an AirPod holder that I think was, was that one also a skull? And then also a, what was it? Like a little, oh, the charger, like a little phone charger situation that had, was it? skeleton hands and a heart or something like that like skeleton skull kind of vibe and then they had a mug that said don't ghost me on it and then it had a little ghosty plushie in the mug y'all I feel like somebody's making these decisions at Walmart I feel like I want to send them a thank you card and this is the most exciting thing that's happened this time of year probably ever I mean, the only thing, no, 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 not ever. I'm sorry, I take that back. There was one year, I think it was 2021, when, um, where stores were getting tons, like back when they were having shipping, like the supply chain issues. If you know, you know, because we were out on the hunt. Stores like Michael's were getting entire shipments of Halloween in because they were getting them in so late because of supply chain issues. And they were, oh my gosh, the clearance on those, so good. And they had entire sections of Halloween. They had full size skeletons. They were even doing like, uh, what do you call those? Like where it's like a mystery box or a mystery bag of Halloween stuff. And you just buy it, like you, you buy it for five bucks and then you get a bunch of random stuff, a bunch of random Halloween stuff. And people got full size skeletons in those, by the way. And honestly, it was just a time to be alive. And I feel like we deserved that after 2020, if we're being honest, Mr. Skeleton. I don't know, we're all hyped up on Halloween right now. Anyways, also saw in the mug section, because I don't want to get too distracted, saw, um, I think we only have a couple more things anyway, uh, a Bride of Chucky mug. Can't remember what it said, but it was a Bride of Chucky mug. And then there was also, this isn't Halloween, but it's 
nostalgic and I loved it. There was a Beavis and Butthead or his Butthead. Anyways, it's a mug in the shape. Hold on. I got, I, I'll show you what I got. We'll do a quick little haul before we go into at home. Uh, anyways, so they had all that. They also had, okay, am I going to miss this light? I can't see anything semi truck. Um, okay. They also had, they had Halloween black heart sour patch kids. I think it's like bl black raspberry or I don't know. I'll tell you here in a second. Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids. They had Halloween Sour Patch Kids, y'all. And if you're new here, first of all, or second of all, I think I've already mentioned this, but welcome to the spooky family again. If I already said that, a skeleton, you have to wake up because this is the most exciting thing. Oh my gosh, that, I like need to take a video. Let me, let me show you this. Headrest of the car has like a mask or something. Okay, welcome to Halloween, everybody, because this is the creepiest shit. I thought Mr. Skeleton was spooky, but y'all, okay, wait, look. <laughs> what is actually happening? It scared me for a second. I thought somebody was sitting there. Okay, anyways, I'm so hyped up on this situation because I've never been so excited, but I don't know. I, I just feel like Walmart Halloween just spoke to my soul. There's something about it that just spoke to my soul. I feel like Walmart... What do you, what do you call it? I don't know the, the hip lingo y'all, but you know, they, what, you know, they understood the assignment. That's the saying. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about anything, but I do know that Walmart understood the Halloween assignment that I do know. Let me show you what I got from Walmart before we go into at home. I hear my mouth. First things first. Got Dallas. Usually every single year I get them the same thing. Hold on, someone's getting another car across from me and I'm shy. Hold on. Every year I do get Dallas a Reese's heart. Every single year he loves these things. So I got him one of these. Uh, and then I saw this and I thought this was super cute. So I got this come to butthead mug. <laughs> it's butthead with a heart that says come to butthead. Anyways, moving on. I got... These, of course, Sour Patch Kids, Sour Hearts, Black Raspberry, Halloween Sour Patch Kids. Got some peanut M&Ms. Freaking love these. Got two of these. These are for myself. And I might share with Dallas. And then I got this for Lucian. It's not Halloween related, but I saw this and I thought it was really cute. This, this uh, St. Patrick's Day Thermal Jam situation for Lucian. This little uh, footy pajama situation. And like in what world did he grow this big? Like I don't even know. I don't understand. I can't comprehend this. Just I can't unsee the little six pound little nugget when he came out. And now every muscle and bone in my body hurts because I have to lift him out of his crib because he's so freaking heavy. Anyways, that is what I got from Walmart. I'm going to have a Sour Patch Kid, and then we're gonna go into at home, and I'm already running out of batteries. I guess we did jab our jaws, but how? We're just gonna use our phone, I guess. Oh, these are all, I thought maybe there were red Sour Patch Kids and Black Hearts, that would have been cute. But even better, it's all Black Hearts. These are the best too, the Black Raspberry is so good. They make the Black Raspberry in the Halloween ones, and it's so good. Okay, one more, and we're going in. I should have gotten more than one box of this. What was I thinking? Okay, we're gonna go back to Walmart. We're gonna have to go back in, out in general. Okay, here we go. All right, here we are back in the car. I'm not gonna put up my camera because we're driving two seconds away to Dollar Tree. It's right down the street, like in the same shopping center. So, uh, really quickly, what we saw at At Home, they didn't have a huge selection, but what they had was good. Like, it was stuff I was looking for. Um, so, well, other than the gnomes, <laughs> I can start there. We'll just get it out of the way. I feel like At Home is the home of the gnomes. They had gnome plushies. They had gnome pillows. Like, one that was bedazzled. Bedazzled gnomes, y'all. And then other various gnome things. If you know them, you know. 
Then they had other pillows. Their pillows were really pretty, actually. They had uh, like a little like a sign that says something about coffee and love and loving coffee or I don't know. And just things with hearts on them. I think there was a sign that said love. Uh, what else did they have in this area? Oh, they had a really cool little, I don't know if it was just for snacks, like a little snack tray thing that was in the shape of lips and just some cute valentine stuff i like their little valentine section i'm not gonna lie and then they had some stuff i was looking for they had a wreath that was really pretty that had the little ornaments it was like an ornament wreath they had this long thing of garlandy kind of stuff but it was like ornaments and then they had some of these little like you know the little things you put on and i got some let me show you this is what they are they're like tree things if you stick them in your tree and it has little hearts and little springs. I thought this was cute. So for our Halloween tree. And then of course we're gonna have bats and other spooky things, but we also have to have hearts, you know? And then they had some ornaments as well. I didn't get any cause I already have, I think I'm stocked up on heart ornaments or maybe I should have grabbed some. Am I not stocked up? I feel like I am. I feel like I have pink and red. I feel like I have more than enough. Is that all we saw? Oh no, no, no. We saw an outdoor rug cause I snagged it. It's a black outdoor rug with red and pink were there white hearts too or just red and pink i don't know but just different hearts on this black rug which i thought was kind of halloweenish because it's black with hearts so i think that's all we saw so anyways we're cruising over to dollar tree i'll see you there all right we're here at the dollar tree we're going in all right we just left dollar tree and uh what did we see uh they had some decor a lot of it was just like candy and like little, like if you're putting together a little bag or basket or something for your kids, it's like, uh, like they had like little stamps and stuff like that. I didn't get visuals of all of that. I did get the decor stuff. So they had some stuff out. I feel like a lot of their wall decor is always really picked over, especially Valentine's. I don't know if it's because people decorate their offices. Let me know in the comments if you decorate your office or, but they did have some wall decor pieces that said different things like, love is the key to happiness or i don't know if that's what it said something about key and ha like it was like a lock and then uh they had a gnome wall decor sign thing of course and then i think did they also have a stuffed gnome i think they did uh but then they also had other like a uh wall decor piece that had like a gumball machine look and just some hearts and different stuff like that different wall decor situations that had various sayings and then they also had some of their garlandy stuff like they had some actual garland red garland with hearts they also had some garlandy looking or like tinselly looking hearts and i think one was a wreath maybe or maybe not maybe it was just like th these dangly hearts i can't remember and then they also had uh some pink glittery hearts i kind of want to incorporate more pastel like pastel valloween vibes so i got some of these glittery pink hearts and i want to say that was kind of it they didn't have a huge section actually uh they already had easter out uh but yeah that's what they had at dollar tree and then i also got oh wait they also had some candy you know i got some they had the black hearts there so they did have a halloween thing there excuse my finger in the shot i also got these if you know then you know i'm obsessed with anything sour and I got these Sour Warhead Hearts. So we're gonna try them right now. I'm gonna give you my opinion. So we're gonna see if these are actually sour. They look a little different than the Sour Patch Kids. These look more like, oh man, saliva. <laughs> Seriously drooling. These look like sour gummy worms. You know, like the trolleys. Mm. Okay, let's try red one. Here we go. This is supposed to be watermelon. That is so good. Not very sour. It's about as sour as trolleys. But so good. The flavor is so good. It's like creamy watermelon. But not. You know like trolleys kind of taste. They're not creamy but kind of. You know what I mean? They're not as. They're like a little more gummy. Less sticky. Like I feel like the Sour Patch Kids are sticky. These are more like gummy. Okay. Next up is the blue raspberry. Once again, not very sour, but really good. Really good. Mmm. This one. 
Miss Purple one is black cherry. Cherry is my favorite taste of all tastes. Mmm. Mmm. If they made these in all black cherry, I would get a lifetime supply. Anyway, now that we're all popped up on sugar, I need one more. All right, anyways, that's it for Halloween decor hunting today. We're done for the day. All right, let's get Mr. Skeleton. Come on, sir. Get in. Sorry, sir, that sounded like it hurt. Buckled in. Oh, Mr. Skeleton, it's freaking cold again. Do we need a beverage? Let's get one. We're back. Brr, Mr. Skeleton, I thought it was going to be warmer today. Where are my sunglasses? Not that we need them. It's cloudy, but we always need them. Uh, Excuse me. Oh, my God. How do we get out of here? Okay. Gotta be smarter than the car, Mr. Skeleton. Hey everyone, it is another day of Halloween. I almost said Halloween. <laughs> I wish Halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. And it's another day in 2024 paradise, aka the Arctic freaking tundra. Although it's not that bad today. Hold on, Mr. Skeleton. Whoa. Um, anyways, it's our first time getting out in a long time. Like I want to say a couple weeks, maybe a week and a half, because we had. A whole bunch of snow and then we had negative temperatures like negative 20 negative I don't know it was the Arctic tundra around here I actually don't mind even the Arctic tundra weather I don't mind it I know that's kind of weird um, it's really cold but I feel like you can just keep adding layers but in the summer when I'm miserable Marie and I'm sweating you cannot take off your skin people I mean I guess you can <laughs> but you know you can put on a coat <laughs> That's my overarching point. Mr. Skeleton sitting over there offended. He's like, well, I took my skin off and look at me. I'm thriving. <laughs> Anyways, today though, we're cruising to Home Goods, and we're going to see if they have any Valentines. I know it's kind of late in the game. It is late January at this point, so I don't know if they're going to have any Halloween. It's probably going to be all Easter. But we're going to look anyways, because why not? Why not just take a little gander? And then I think we might go over to Michael's really quick. I want to go see if they have any little heart cookie cutters. I know I can just order one online, which I might if they don't have them. But I figure while we're out here, I might as well go look. Because I kind of want to do, I don't know if I'm going to have time to do it, but we're going to try. Um, I really want to do our annual Halloween sugar cookies i really want to do them because i didn't do sugar cookies for christmas this year i wanted to do kind of maybe bats and little hearts or maybe i don't know what we're gonna do we do bats every year but i kind of like the bats we might just do a different color anyways we're almost to home goods mr skeleton are you excited i really want to take mr skeleton in and like put him in the cart and push him around but i just don't know if that's allowed <laughs> i mean there's no sign that says no skeletons allowed in the store <laughs> but I don't I, I love going to home goods too much to push my luck. Okay, Mr. Skeleton, we're going in. Well, you're just gonna stay in the car and freeze, but you know what I mean. I'm ready. <laughs> Come on. Are you turning it the wrong way? We just left. We didn't see a lot of Valentine's. I don't think they had one single individual Valentine's kitchen towel, bathroom towel, nothing in there. All picked over. To be expected since it's been there since basically Christmas. So they're getting all their Easter stuff out. And you know what got me, y'all? You know what got me? I don't even decorate for Easter. And the Easter got me. So I'm going to have to show you. What's this? I'm going to show you what I got when I get home. So you can see. Or maybe later I'll show you. Either way, I'm going to show you what I got. Even though it's not Halloween related, I still want to show you. In case... Because we don't really do Easter decor hunting. Because I don't really decorate for Easter. We do halfway to Halloween. But I guess this year we're going to have Halloween. Halfway to Halloween in the living room. And then we're going to have 
Easter in the kitchen. Oh, where's this person going? Are you going where I'm going? Okay, well, I'm gonna go here then. I guess I'll go this way. Because I couldn't resist the stuff in there. And I'm gonna show you in case you're looking for some dark decor or things that could be dark decor for Easter and or modern decor and or kitschy. Like, I feel like I have two moods with every holiday. I have, you know, in your face, everything black. You know, that's usually my go-to. I love a good dark decor. Then I like the kitschy stuff. Like for Halloween, I like the in your face Halloween stuff. You know, the, the jack-o'-lanterns and the ghosties and all the things. I like the Joanna Parker stuff, which is like kind of that vintage look, right? It's a kitschy. So anyways, they had Joanna Parker Easter there today and it got me. So we're doing kitschy meets dark. I don't know how we're gonna make it work, but we will somehow. You know what we always do. Let's talk about Halloween first. We I only saw one Halloween thing, something that could be considered Halloween, and that was I think it was a heart shaped plate or plates. It came with two, and it had Jack and Sally Nightmare Before Christmas on it, and that's really the only thing I saw in there that could be considered Halloween. Um, everything else was very you know, Valentine's. It was, it was hearts and pink and red and all that kind of stuff. Oh, they had those Valentine's fairies back this year. The kind of creepy looking fairies that look like they come alive at night. Those ones. And then they had like this gold little dish thing. It had gold hearts. And then they had a silver heart little decor thing. They had some nesting bowls in the shape of hearts. Uh, they had a, uh, what what's her name? Why can't I think? Ray Dunn. I don't know why I couldn't think of her name. It was like this pink little dish that I think said XOXO on it. They had some cupcake liners and just a couple of cute bakeware things, but not a lot. A lot of it was picked over. It was very picked over. And I think I got some pillows. They did have a couple pillows left. Some pink pillows, which I was looking for. I meant to mention that earlier today. Uh, I was looking for some Halloween or just Valentine's pillows because I got those Halloween sheets during Halloween, which somebody reminded me of those. Thank you if you're the one who reminded me in the comments about those Halloween sheets we got. I totally forgot about that, and I don't even know where they're at. I'm gonna have to track them down. They're probably in some box somewhere. But anyways, we got Halloween sheets, and we're gonna have to make a Halloween bed. So I don't know when we're gonna do it. We gotta do it soon. Oh my gosh, there's the sloth next to me. Look at this. Wait, I don't know if you can see. I'll get my phone and show you. I feel like this is the video where we have random things in or around on vehicles, which I love because you know, we have Mr. Skeleton. So I love the sloth situation. <laughs> what we're we gonna talk about. And, oh wait, 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 something I wanted to mention that's not Halloween or Valentine's, uh, but it's St. Patrick's Day. I was looking for Valentine's towels and they didn't have any, but down the towel section, they did have some St. Patrick's Day towels and they had one that had dogs all over it, St. Patrick's Day dogs. And one of them looked like little knees with little, like these little shamrock, I don't know, like little shamrock headband, you know, thing, antenna thing. I don't know, it was so cute. I didn't get it, should have gotten it. Dang it, oh well. I don't normally decorate for other holidays. I normally just decorate for halfway to Halloween, Halloween, and then Christmas. And that's pretty much it. And then we do our Halloween tree. That's pretty much all I do. But I guess we're, I guess we're stepping up our game. We gotta start finding other ways to decorate spooky all year round and, and integrate the other holidays. Like what's St. Patrick's Day? Like St. Spooky Day? St. I don't know. And now we're here at Michael's and I'm sure their Valentine stuff is marked down. We're gonna go see what we can find. So anyways, we're going into Michael's. Here we go. Right here. Okay, so we just left Michael's. We saw they had a good selection of Valentine's still. Like it wasn't very picked over, which normally it is by this time. They had some beaded heart looking stuff, like dangly hearts and hearts on sticks. And then they had some wreaths that looked like, you know, like the tinsel kind of stuff. And then beaded and they had a pom-pom wreath and another wreath that I think said something else. They had some ornaments. They had, they have my favorite ornaments there. So if you're looking for Valentine's ornaments, I feel like 
uh, Michaels has the best ones in my opinion. I'm not gonna lie, some of their smaller ornaments, like the little smaller hearts are very similar to the ones at Dollar Tree, but the bigger ones, I feel like, I think it just in general, you get more variety at Michaels. You get glittery, you get shiny, you get all sorts of options for ornaments if you're trying to do a Halloween tree or a Valentine's tree or whatever. Or if you're just looking for clearance after Valentine's because you want to do a tree next year, that's another thing to consider. But anyways, they also had some, some tabletop decor. One was a dog with like a letter, like a love letter or something in its mouth. And then the other one was, what was the other thing? It was like a heart that said be mine, I think on it or something. Uh, and then they had like a dangly heart sign that said welcome. And what else was in this area? So maybe some other dangly wall decor pieces or I don't know, little, so anyways, anything else I'm missing in this area I'll show. It wasn't very picked over at all. Unless there was like a huge section that I missed and they've kind of condensed it to a tiny little area, which is possible. So what else did we see? Okay, they had some bakeware and they had exactly what I was looking for. They had these mini Valentine's cookie cutters I was looking for with little hearts and lips. They also had like a bunt cake pan in the shape of a heart a tart pan in the shape of a heart. And they had other cookie cutters, like bigger hearts and what else? I think just hearts. No, they had an XO one and I can't remember what else. Uh, but then they also had a bowl that was in the shape of a heart. And what did it say on it? Kisses or something? I don't remember what it said on it, but it was like a conversation heart is what it looked like. And then they had, what else? A mug with a heart on it. And, oh, they had some other silicone mold looking things with just like little conversation heart looking, I don't know, hearts. <laughs> and then they had another heart pan. Uh, and I want to say that's, oh wait, and then they had some sprinkles. I don't remember if I got the visuals of the sprinkles though, but if I did, I'll show them here. But they had some Valentine sprinkles and I think maybe that's it. Anyways. That, I think, is all we saw at Michael's. They were starting to put out their Easter, though, and it's looking very similar to at home. I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, that's what we saw today, and that's what we saw for Halloween. I don't think I'm gonna do any more Halloween decor hunting because I need to get this tree done. It's like late January, and it's not done yet, and I like to usually have it up for a solid month, but here we are. All right, here we are. We're back home. We're having a little snack. We're eating this street corn dip from Aldi. This stuff is so freaking good. I'm gonna take a little bite and then I'm gonna show you what I got today from Home Goods and Michaels. So, we'll let's start with Home Goods. I'll start with the one Valoween thing I got. I got this pink heart pillow and my Valoween sheets are pink and lavender and white, I think. So I'm thinking, and they've got skulls all over them. So I'm thinking I can put those on there and then put some skull pillows and then also put this on there and it'll tie it all together. I'm hoping. Okay. And I'll show you the rest of the stuff I got from Home Goods here in a second, but I wanted to show you the rest of the Halloween stuff. What? Are you playing with your toys? Yeah. What's that one? Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> you hear Lucian. So I got some stuff from Michael's. I got these little mini cookie cutters, the hearts and the lips. And then I also got these cute little hearts and just regular sprinkle kind of combo. All right, so then the rest of the stuff I got from Home Goods. I wanted to show you Easter. I know it's not technically an Easter video, but just in case you're looking for stuff like this, it's out now, so I didn't want to wait and then have you miss it in case you're wanting stuff like this. So I figured I'd show it. Why not? I guess it's a festive video anyway. All right, so first up from Home Goods, I got these. I don't know how to display them where you can see, just so you can see what it looks like in all of its glory. But it's this bunny. I got two of them, and I thought maybe they'd face each other. I thought that looked cool. And then I figured if I don't like the white, I can always spray paint it black. But I like the shape, like the ear shape. There's something about it. I just thought if I spray painted it black, it would give it kind of a spooky Easter vibe or maybe I'm just trying to make everything spooky. But regardless, I like the shape of this bunny. So I might leave it white and put it with some black decor or I may spray paint it black. That's to be determined. All right, and they did have some black bunnies. But they had this one and this is a metal. Like it, it's actually metal feeling if you can hear that. 
was $9.99. It's a little guy, but he was the only black bunny there that didn't have scratches all over it. So I love this guy. Once again, love the shape. Then I saw this other stuff. Let me show you. I saw these guys, these Joanna Parker Easter little canister guys, and I couldn't resist the kitschy vintage looking Easter stuff. So I got these two. I don't know if it goes with black, but we're going to make it work somehow. The chick was $12.99 and the bunny was $16.99 for these guys. And these are out now. And I feel like this kind of stuff is going to get picked over. So that's why I wanted to show you this stuff. All right, next up, I got this Peter Rabbit blanket for Lucian and Neens. So basically, if Neens doesn't steal it from Lucian, then Lucian's going to use it. But they're probably going to fight over it. No, not really. But we're going <laughs> to use it for Lucian and Neens. This is their little super soft Easter blanket. I thought it was really cute. This was $16.99. All right, so I also got some other stuff. Just some other miscellaneous items uh, or mainly Lucian items. Uh, but I got this on-the-go snack stacker. You can put little snacks in here or formula in these little pods. And then I found these Burt's Bees sleepers. I love these sleepers, the snug fit ones. These are one of my favorites because they have big feet. So if your kid also has big feet and you're looking for sleepers, I feel like Burt's Bees is the best because there's plenty of room in the feet. I feel like all the other brands, especially Old Navy, I love Old Navy prices, and I love that they have a lot of ones with double zippers, but their feet on those are so tiny, and the feet on the Burt's Bees ones, it doesn't have a double zipper, but I can live with it because the feet fit all the way through, like the whole like month, like if it says six to nine months, it fits his feet all six to nine months, basically. Uh, anyways, I got this in 12 months, and then this really cute moon print, I love this. So I got this and these were $7.99, which is a steal of a deal for these. So I got the moon print and the gray and white stripe print. So I loved both of these and they're both a snug fit. Anyways, that's what I got today. Wanted to show you all the stuff, the Halloween stuff and the Easter stuff, just in case you're looking for some, you know, modern or black Easter stuff and or kitschy Joanna Parker Easter stuff. Anyways, that's it for this video. We're done. Halloween decor hunting. We went out there. We found mainly Halloween at Walmart. They had the best. I'm going to give it to Walmart this year. They had the most Halloween stuff. And now it's time to decorate our Halloween tree and our Halloween bed. And that's coming up. Anyways, let me know down in the comments if you found any Halloween stuff and where you found it. Let me know. Anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me and good old Mr. Skeleton doing some Halloween decor hunting. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.